maybe you've been thinking about it for a while, but why should you start a YouTube channel? That's what we talk about today. Here we go! Hello and welcome back to another video. Now if you're new around here and you're looking to start a YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, or push your brand out there onto the second largest search engine on the internet, click subscribe, start creating. Now you may be sat there, right now, staring at my fluffy face, and you've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel for a while, and you've been humming and hurrying, and you're not quite sure why. Or you're completely confused, and you have no idea why people do start YouTube channels, and you need educating on why it could be fantastic for you. Now, before I deep dive into telling you exactly why you should start a YouTube channel, I want to know, what made you start your YouTube channel? Or, What's currently stopping you from making a YouTube channel? Please leave a comment down below. YouTube is a fantastic website that is there for anyone to use, for you to broadcast yourself. All of those years back, the very first video on YouTube was the owner and creator of YouTube uploading a video of him at the zoo. Over time, we've seen people dance with fake lightsabers or bite Charlie's finger, right? YouTube is a marvel. But also, it can confuse people into not understanding why it exists or why it can help their normal lives or why it can help you right now. So I'm going to give you a few reasons to start a YouTube channel. One, YouTube is free storage for video files, completely free. I'm gonna say it once more, it's free. For any of you, that has ever bought storage and wanted to share it with a friend, right? You'll realize that like storage can be quite expensive. It's even more expensive if they're video files and you're trying to push it around and you can't you can't put it on Facebook and you can't share it here and you can't share it there. YouTube is a giant hard drive of anything that you ever want to save. Ever. It could could be for the public, it could be for the private. You can upload it, it can sit there, and you could choose to only invite people that you want to see to see that video. It's all yours, it's all there, and once again, it's free. Two, it's a fantastic place nowadays to put your memories. Like, do you remember, or maybe it's just me, when I was younger, my mum loved a good photo collection. You know, all those books where you flick through and there's no photos of me as a baby because I was beamed down into a field at the age of 25, right? There are no baby photos. Baby Alan does not exist. Do you believe me? But you know, you flick through and your mum wants to show your girlfriend the most embarrassing photos, or in my case, once again, I was beamed down into a field at the age of 25. I got the photos of my sister and I would you know, make them larger and pin them around weird places in the house just to freak out her boyfriend or my neighbours. Always fun. It's also a fantastic way to remember that holiday or that wedding or anything that you wouldn't normally have a place to share, right? You can upload that wedding day speech video here of a random dude berating his best friend and everyone can share, enjoy, and you can look back on that memory for forever. Three, YouTube can be a fantastic cathartic aid. When I started YouTube five, six years ago, I was really struggling. I wasn't happy with myself, I wasn't happy with the world I was living, and I needed a place to vent. Now, it wasn't venom, it wasn't malicious, but I was able to put up my sense of humour out there, maybe a little bit too sarcastic, right? Maybe a little bit too narky, maybe take the odd little pot shot at people, right? Through my own brain and they didn't see it. I got to work it out, right? I've never been to a, a, a kind of psych psychotherapist lady or gentleman, right? But YouTube was the place that I could heal over time. Now I firmly advise that you do go and seek professional assistance, but if you need to to work your way through things, maybe it's shyness, maybe it's anxiety, anything. A camera in a room where only you are talking to a camera can really help you. If you need help, reach out to me, I'll see what I can do. 
Thor! YouTube's a fantastic place for a professional portfolio. Now, on this channel I've got close to 130 YouTube videos, all of which show people that could be my clients that I know what I'm talking about and that I'm willing to teach and I am able to teach. So this is a portfolio of everything that I can do. But it could also be your portfolio for college or it could be your portfolio for your CV. So when you're applying for a job, they can look at your YouTube videos or anything that you do. Your portfolio of anything that you wish. Your art, your drawing, your life. Once again, it's free to store and it's public accessible, it's easy to share. Five, YouTube's fantastic because you can also practice and get feedback from anyone. Experts or people that you wish to reach that are in similar situations to you. Why not use YouTube to practice your interviews, your speeches, get used to a camera, I mean, if you want to do this thing for the rest of your life, if you want to go into media or production, you'll have to learn how to set up your lighting to talk to a camera, to feel comfortable, how it lights properly, how it sounds properly, what you need to tweak. And if you want to do public speaking, you need to get used to, to knowing how to talk to people. Granted, this isn't necessarily people, it's you, hello. Hello. But you can practice the cadence of your voice, how you deliver it, learn the speech, the pattern. And then you also learn whether or not you've got a problem where you use your hands too much and you talk a lot, like, like me. So you kind of slow it down a bit. And finally six, start a YouTube channel for fun. Because that's, that's the real reason. If you're gonna start a YouTube channel, You've got to start it for fun. You've got to enjoy what you're doing. You've got to enjoy what you want to create. You should not be starting a YouTube channel as a get-rich-quick scheme. YouTube is not a get-rich-quick scheme. I've done a video here explaining that, right? But if you are smart, you can earn money online. But create it for you. Have fun with yourself, with your friends, with your family, with your memories. Practice, practice, practice and you will get the most out of YouTube. But of course, if you need help with practicing and getting those fine skills down, there's a playlist up here of YouTube hacks that you can trawl through. But that is why you should start a YouTube channel. For more tricks and tips on how to start and grow that YouTube channel, there's a free PDF up here and in the description down below. Hit that subscribe button for regular YouTube tricks and tips. Hit that notification icon so you're alerted immediately when my video goes live. Go out there, start creating.